All right, so my group decided to do athlete's foot, and my group is me, Jacob, and Kennedy. And just a warning, some of the pictures you might not like Pete or not a fan of Pete, obviously. So. First, we're going to talk about the causes. Uh, usually, it's because of damp, warm, humid conditions, which is where the fungus, fungus will grow. It's the same type of fungus that is caused by like, ringworm, jock itch, and cauliflower ear. Uh, and it's also super contagious, so if you touch it with like a spot of infection or a surface such as like a towel, sock, or shoe that might have caused it, then you, you could be uh, at risk of having it. And some of the risk factors include males, because we must be dirty or something, I don't know, we <laughs> won't take care of ourselves as much, so we're about 54% chance of getting it, where the girls are more 46. Wearing damp socks and tight lifting shoes or tight fitting shoes, basically so like, because that's more of the places where the fungus will grow. Sharing items with an infected person is another way of causing it, and walking barefoot in public, public places such as like the, the dorm bathrooms, the pool, places like that. Some symptoms include red scaly rashes, uh, itching, blisters, ulcers, and some dryness. And this is mainly because the fungus will just be around there. And the assessment is also part of the diagnosis, so we'll get a little bit more into that later. The diagnosis, there's really two ways of diagnosing this. The doctor can either look at your foot and easily tell that it's athlete's foot, or they'll do a skin scraping or a skin sample to be tested in the lab. And basically what they'll do in this test is they'll take, they'll scrape a piece of the infected skin off and they'll put it in some potassium hydroxide and that will kill a lot of the healthier cells and leave the bacteria to be examined and underneath the microscope. Some treatments and preventions. In the more mild cases you can use antifungal creams, powder, or sprays, but in more severe cases you're going to need to get a prescription and some medications. In order to prevent these, the athlete's foot, you're going to need to keep your feet like dry so you don't want a lot of sweaty feet or anything like that. And then if you do have it, you don't want to touch the rash because if you touch it like with your hands or something, it can spread to your hands. Another form of spreading it is to share your shoes with people that might have it, so don't do that obviously. The prognosis and follow-up, almost al it almost always responds to self-care, so the self-care will be putting on the treatment, or like the ointments and sprays and stuff like that. If you correctly apply these things, it will go away in most cases, but if you don't treat it, the infection can spread to your toenails, and that's what you can see in the picture above. But there's really no need for a follow-up as long as it's healing. Those are our references. <laughs>